Hi everyone. Welcome to this episode of Hargis Cooks where we're making moose moose, which is moose that looks like moose. So uh, I wanted to start off this video by doing a moose analysis, which uh, will involve analyzing moose, who is uh, black and white with brindled points. So that means we're going to do a dark chocolate mousse with a white chocolate mousse swirled in and also toasted marshmallow on top to look like brindled points. And that's it. Oh, but Mr. Howison, I'm just a little moose. Please don't eat me. I, I don't want to be eaten. Oh, well, that's okay, moose, because we're not actually eating moose. We're eating moose, which is like fluffy, fluffy goop instead of you, which is fluffy, fluffy, fat little puppy. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ha oh, shit. Justin, I'm filming Hargis Cooks. Get out of here. Okay, so for this recipe, you're going to need a lot of different kinds of fours. For example, moose has four legs. Dark chocolate mousse, four ounces of chocolate, four tablespoons of butter, quarter cup of sugar, some amount that could be or could not be divisible by four cream of tartar, four eggs, and one marshmallow. Or four quarters of a marshmallow. <laughs> okay, so for this recipe, make sure you have your appliances ready. You're gonna need one blowtorch, a KitchenAid stand mixer, or a whisk. You can use a whisk, but I'm gonna use this because I'm lazy and I'm weak. And you wanna make sure you're getting a large enough pot to hold your bowls ready or with like a gentle simmer because you want it to steam and make a bon marie or a double boiler. Okay, so we're gonna start by cracking eight eggs to make sure that we have a, most of our mise en place ready. And for that, you're gonna need two bowls because we have eight eggs and we want them se uh, schmutz, gross. They have to be separated. So it's gonna be four egg yolks, four egg yolks and eight egg whites in this big old bowl. I want the white, the white and, oh, come on. You have to redeem yourself, Harrison. You can do this. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, come on. Oh, stupid egg white fucking ball. There you go. So you have egg yolk, egg white. Okay, um, I actually lied. You need four egg yolks and ten egg whites. <laughs> and then you need to hide the evidence down the garbage disposal because you can't do anything right. So now you're going to take your white chocolate and you're going to put it over your thing. And you try not to burn yourself. All right. And then you just uh, make sure the water isn't touching the bowl. You just want the steam to be touching the bowl because uh, you want it to be uh, you know very gentle. You want it to... Get a whisk, and then once everything starts to melt together, you just uh, you just uh, you adjust it and you move it around, and you wait until everything melts. Okay, so around this time is when you start to have a panic attack because you've never actually made mousse before, and you uh, start to question whether or not you know what you're doing and you're lying to the people. All right, make sure you start to freak out because you start to overheat the butter and the chocolate. So then you take it off the heat and forget to show people and then combine it with one of the four egg yolks and mix up, up like this. Uh, why am I doing this? I've never done this before. Okay, so while this is happening, go over to your stand mixer and close that and lock it, lock it, and uh, turn it on two, I guess. Start to get the egg whites all frothy, which should take a few minutes. Once it starts to froth up a little bit, add Add your sugar and your cream. Ooh, look at my arms. I'm gonna say this at the beginning, but this is a very important ingredient. Make sure you go into your spice cabinet and make sure you get the juice of vanilla people. A lot of people got upset when they saw a bunch of innocent vanilla people getting killed. And they said, Harrison, you can't do that. That's fucking mean. They have families. So if you get the vanilla people juice, you can't hear them scream when you pour them into your white chocolate mixture.
I think it's funny that you think you can eat this. This is gonna kill you, puppy goose. Yes, it is. This is going to make you die and have diarrhea out of your mouth and butt. Okay, once your egg whites get frothy, just a uh, little bit of cream of tartar in there. I don't, I don't really know what this does, but it's acidic, and uh, hopefully it'll stabilize the eggs. Okay, once your egg whites double in volume, take your sugar and pour your sugar in, and pray that this works. Just in case this won't work, make sure you have heavy cream in your fridge as a backup. Okay, 11 egg whites later, your meringue should start to come together. Okay, so once your meringue holds soft peaks, which mine kind of is, I, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, fold half of this into that. So take about a quarter of your meringue which you can be a little bit more rough with. Take the whisk out, because you're an idiot and you forgot to do that. And slowly just integrate the air and the meringue into your chocolate mixture. You don't need to be nearly as gentle with this part, because this is mostly just integrating the chocolate and the meringue. Also realize that your meringue was not beat enough, and that's okay, because you're trying your best, and uh, nobody's judging here, you know? Everyone knows that you're trying your best, you know? You're just, you're a little child, and, you know, your, your parents are going to be proud of you no matter what, even though, even though Jeremy is, is Jeremy, and you're not him. And then, with your second half of the meringue, just fold it in. And you want to keep the air pockets. What makes a mousse so nice is how velvety and how luscious it is and airy and light. And that's what we're doing here is we're just integrating the air and the volume of the meringue into our chocolate mix. Okay, once you have your mousse mixture, open up the fridge. Realize you have no room in your fridge. Uh, make room in your fridge and let that rest for at least two hours. Okay, so now that your moose are in the fridge, you can sit and look at the moose that inspired the moose. So now that you've got your chocolate moose and your white chocolate moose in different bowls than before, obviously, because, you know, you didn't mess up your meringue and your mousse in general and, and have to, you know, whip heavy cream and then fold it into heavy cream, right? But uh, if you take the spoon, um, this is, it actually turned out really good. It's like super light and airy and it's just, it's very fluffy, but it's super, super rich too. Uh, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. Okay, for plating your mousse mousse, you're gonna wanna take your dark chocolate mousse, which is the more prevalent aspect of mousse because he is very dark and you're going to want to take a little bit of your white chocolate mousse and lay that gently on top Now to accentuate the brindle points, two marshmallows, clean the rim of the ramekin so you don't burn any of the mousse, clean up this little schmutz. Blowtorch. I guess that's more burned points than brindle points, but. Boom! There you have it. Moose mousse. Dark chocolate mousse, white chocolate mousse, and toasted marsh. I want more marshmallows. This would be way better with more marshmallows. Because Moose likes marshmallows. He's a big boy.
Boom. Moose, moose.